problem number 8 1 kg of air initially at 4 bar 550 kelvin 1 kg of air is in the again similar type of uh, cylinder where the movable piston is there frictionless piston initially held by pin is also present so one side is air at 4 bar 550 the second side is 1 kg of wet steam wet steam means it may be mixture of liquid and vapor at 1 bar is there that is it the frictionless piston that separates air and steam is thermally conducting in the like in the previous problem and is also free to move the, the steam initially occupies 1 meter cube so we can write for this ok so uh, a side for a so this is I will call this side as a and this side as b like in the previous problem for a p a 1 equal to 4 bar t a 1 equal to 550 kelvin m a m a equal to 1 kg ok that is all here for b m b equal to 1 kg 1 bar pressure is given so p b 1 equal to 1 bar and also is given the steam initially occupies 1 meter cube on the right side that means v b 1 equal to 1 meter cube that is it so these are the initial conditions given the piston is now allowed to move by removing the pin the piston moves slowly ok see there is a pressure difference between a and b a at 4 bar b at 1 bar so that the piston actually moves to the right so air undergoes a polytropic process pv power n equal to constant as the piston moves ok now the piston cannot go to equilibrium it has to move and uh, there is a stops here stops so piston finally comes to the stop due to the stopper ring which is present here the you can understand that it cannot move that means that still the pressure between these two chambers can be different in the previous problem there was no stop present so the piston will go and rest at a particular point where the pressure in both chambers will be same now here it is not so it cannot need not be same ok now what is given is when the piston goes to this position in the stop like this ok what happens the wet steam becomes saturated steam at a pressure of 2 bar that is P B 2 equal to 2 bar and X 2 equal to 1 at this state temperature of air is equal to that of the steam that means I will say T, T B 2 here T B sorry T A 2 will be equal to T B 2 I do not know this we can calculate this but what is this this is nothing but T saturated saturation temperature at 2 bar so that will be here equal to T sat at 2 bar so these are the information given to us why this is possible because basically there is a heat transfer between A and B so due to which the temperature finally becomes equilibrium but pressure need not be at equilibrium so determine the initial dryness fraction of the steam given these three so from this I can calculate Vb1 also as 1 by 1 equal to 1 meter cube per kg now the state is fixed as 1 bar pressure specific volume is 1 meter cube per kg from that I can fix and do it so initial dryness fraction final temperature of air that is already found final temperature of air will be equal to T sat at 2 bar ok so it is given the condition is given like this so Vb2 will be T sat at 2 bar so that will be the final temperature and third is the value of the polytropic index that is PV equal to PV power n equal to constant what is the value of n then the work transfer for the air and heat transfer du during the process ok so these are the things asked solution for a side a I can find volume volume initial volume as 
one in one kg into two eighty seven into five fifty kelvin divided by four bar equal to zero point three nine four six two five meter cube. Okay, now for B, we have already seen that. P B one equal to one bar, V B one equal to one meter cube per kg. That is going to fix the state. So now what you do is at one bar, you go to this table here, pressure based table, one bar pressure. So this is the one one bar pressure. So what is the value of uh, V F point? Zero zero one zero four three and uh, Vg is one point six nine four. Now we can see that V one was one meter cube per kg. That means it is a saturated mixture. So we can note this. Similarly, you can note the U also four one seven point three and two five not six. So go here. U first Vf equal to zero point zero zero one zero four three. Meter cube per kg and Vg equal to one point six nine four meter cube per kg and uh, we can find x one as V B one minus V F divided by V G minus V F which is equal to one minus zero point zero zero one zero four three divided by one point six nine four minus zero point zero zero one zero four three equal to 0.59. So initial quality is 0.59. Then you can find U1 equal to UF plus X1 into UG minus UF, which is equal to UF is 417.3 plus 0.59 into 2506 is the UG value minus 417.3. So that will be equal to 2. Sorry, 16. Four nine point six three kilojoule per kg. That is the well, initial state is fixed for the steam. Okay, now at state two for B P B two equal to two bar, and uh, it's given that. X equal to one. That is x two equal to one. That means v equal to what? V b two will say v b two equal to zero point eight eight six for two bar. Which is what? This is actually I will say this is v g at two bar, which is equal to plus x equal to one zero point eight eight six meter cube per kg. That will be v b two. So what is V capital V B two? That will be equal to M in M B into V B two. It is one kg. So it's again same zero point eight eight six meter cube. That is the value. Now apply this V A one plus V B one will be equal to V A two plus V B two. That should be obeyed. So implies V A V A two minus V A one will be equal to V B one minus V B two equal to one minus zero point eight eight six equal to zero point one one four meter cube. That means V B two can be found, correct? But V A one is known, so we can find V B two. Sorry, V A two. We can find V A two as V A one. Is known here zero point three nine four six two five plus zero point one one four equal to zero point five zero eight six two five meter cube. That's it. So now you can find the uh, pressure. So before that, I know what is T A two equal to T B two equal to T sat at two bar. Pressure. So go to the team tables. 
So here, two bar. What is saturation temperature? One twenty point two. So equal to one twenty point two degrees centigrade. So R convert into Kelvin. Three ninety three point two Kelvin. So that is this. Now find P. Okay, P will be equal to because the pressure can be different. No, we cannot say pressure in the left hand side will be two bar now. So P A two will be equal to one mass. And two eight seven R into final temperature three ninety three point two divided by the final volume zero point five zero eight six two five, which is equal to two two one point eight six nine eight one. You can say eight one kilopascals. So that is so you can see that now the still there is a pressure difference between A and B. A is at two twenty one point eight seven. B will be at two hundred kilopascals because of the stops. Pressure difference can be there, but temperature is different. Uh, so same in both. So now P V power n equal to constant is given. So apply that. So we can also say here P one for A for air. Okay, so now we can use that. P one, P A one, okay. V A one power n equal to P A two, V A two power n. Substituting four hundred initial initial volume is zero point three nine four six two five power n equal to final is two hundred twenty one point eight seven kilo pascals into zero point five zero eight. Six two five for n. So from this, I can find the value of n equal to two point three two two four. So what is the work done by the air is equal to P A one V A one minus P A two V A two divided by n minus one, which is equal to thirty thirty four point not three kilojoules. Delta U of R will be equal to M A into C V into T A two minus T A one, which is equal to one into zero point seven one seven five. This C V value into this mass. Okay, and here this will be one. That is three hundred ninety three point two Kelvin minus initial temperature was higher. So this is negative minus one fifty six point eight kilojoules. Well, this is in kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Okay. Now, what is Q of R? Q of R will be just add this W of R plus delta U R. So which is equal to minus seventy eight point four seven four kilojoules. Done. Now for steam. Work involved in the steam. Work done on the steam is by the air, so I can say W air minus of that, so that will be equal to minus thirty four point not three kilojoules. So Q of steam will be equal to W steam plus M B into U B two minus U B one, which is equal to Eight four six point five four kilojoules. So that is the value. So in this problem, basically, the pressure is not same in the chamber because there is a stop after the person moves due to the pressure difference towards the right, compressing the steam. After a particular value, uh, after a particular moment, it is actually stopped by the stops. So that After that, it cannot move. So pressure difference prevails between these two, but temperature is same. That is given in the problem. That is understandable because this piston is thermally conducting. Okay. Now the next problem: the frictionless thermally conducting piston separates air and water. Again, this is like the same. 
is a hard valve cylinder two compartments piston is there air is in the left chamber a water in the right chamber okay initial volumes of a and b that is va1 equal to vb1 equal to 0.5 meter cube and the initial pressure in b that is pb1 equal to 700 kilo pascals so please see there is no pin and all here okay that we have to understand here there is no pin and all so obviously what happens if pb1 is 700 kilo pascals pa1 also should be same pressure so i can easily say this is that because our at every instant the pressure in both the chamber should be same because when the piston is in equilibrium so at state 1 what is the equilibrium condition at state 1 when the pressure for the b is 700 kilo pascal that should be the pressure for the a okay now mass of the liquid in b mass of liquid in b equal to 0.9 kg so basically it has water that is water means it may be in any phase liquid and vapor in this case okay so now specifically the liquid mass is given as 0.9 kg this is the total mass okay so mb can be written as m of the liquid in b plus m of vapor in b now this is only given of the total mass now heat is transferred to both air and water heat is transferred to both air and water until the final pressure and temperature are 2 mega pascals and 700 degrees that is pa2 equal to p b2 equal to 2 mega pascals equal to 2 into 10 power 6 pascals and uh, t a2 equal to t b2 equal to 700 degree centigrade this is given so now when this is in equilibrium what will be the condition so what what is to be determined mass in a mass in b total heat transfer during the process these are the three things asked solution so since the thermally conducting piston is there okay we can say that t a1 will be equal to t b1 finally also you can see that t a t a2 equal to t b2 and pressure also will be at every time instant will be same say initially 700 kilo pascals finally 2 mega pascals so this is the thing we have to understand here in this case the mass of the liquid in b is initially given here so we have to find this mass also or total mass then find vb so these are the things first of all let us take a so for a pressure is 700 kilo pascals what is m a m a will be equal to 700 into 10 power 3 into volume is given 0.5 pv by m i don't know m i have taken here r 287 For air, you can take R equal to 287 given in the problem into temperature. Temperature is what T A one equal T B one. So what is T A one? So we have to understand this 700 kilo pascals. Okay. So now first you have to find go to the tables for the 700 kilo pascals here. That is here seven bar. this we will find the values of vf and vg vf equal to 0.001108 and this is 2.273 vg so at 700 kilo pascals from saturated tables i can say vf equal to 0.0011 Let's see it again. One one not eight. 
0.108 meter cube per kg and Vg will be equal to 0 0.273, 0.273 meter cube per kg. So now the state is actually what state is saturated. So what will be T B1 saturated state? So T B1 will be equal to here 165. That is T sat at 700 kilopascals, 165 degrees centigrade. Why? It is clear, clearly given that the mass of the liquid is given. That means some mass of the vapor should also be there. So that means that is a saturated mixture of liquid and vapor. So temperature should be at the saturation temperature at the given pressure, 165. So here I can fix this as 165 and here substitute it, convert it into Kelvin. So that will be the mass of A. What is mass of A now? Two point seven eight four three kg. Okay, mass of A is calculated. First one, mass in B you have to do. So here I'll continue with the first A. P A two is two mega pascals. Okay. T A two is also given. 700 degrees centigrade. 700 degrees centigrade equal to 973 Kelvin. So now I can find VA2. Right? VA2 will be equal to what? VA2 equal to what is the mass we have calculated? 2.7843 into 287 into 973 divided by 2 into 10 power 6, which is equal to 0 0.38875 meter cube. Okay, now why I am not calculating mass in B? Because I cannot. Why? You can see that I know that this is a saturated mixture because specifically mass of liquid in B initially is given. That means mass of liquid is given, then there will be mass of vapor. So I can only estimate that there is a mixture of liquid and vapor. So I can say it is a saturated mixture condition. So the temperature should be 165 because that is the saturation temperature at 700 kilopascals that I know. But other than that, there is no information for me to fix the state uh, here. That is, I do not know what is, see, temperature and pressure at for a saturated mixture will not be able to fix the state because I need quality or any other property that is not there. So, I cannot proceed with this. But since the final state is given for air, I can at least find the final volume. Okay, now from this I can find the final volume of the steam. Okay, that is what I am trying to do here. What is that? Again, the VA1 plus VB1 equal to VA2 plus VB2. The volume in both chambers initially and finally should be the same. So, VA1 is 0.5 plus this is also 0.5 and this I have calculated now 38875 plus VB2 implies VB2 will be equal to 0.61125 meter cube. So now state 2 for steam now we will take for steam at state 2 P equal to PB2 equal to 2 mega pascals and uh, TB2 equal to 700 degree centigrade, Vb2 I know, Vb2 equal to 0 0.66, sorry 61125 meter cube. So these three I know. So now I will go to the tables, 2 mega pascals. What is 2 mega pascals? 2 into 10 power 6 or 20 into 10 power 5, that is 20 bar. This is 2 mega pascals, 20 bar. So this is given in bar, okay. So this table is given in bar. So 20 bar table, I find what is the final uh, thing, temperature is 2, for temperature at 20 bar, saturation temperature is 212.4, but what is the temperature given, that is 700 degrees centigrade, so the state should be superheated, okay, 
so since t sat at 2 mega pascals is less than t b 2 the state 2 is superheated superheated vapor okay so i have to go to the superheated vapor tables for 20 bar okay go down superheated tables go to the pressure of 20 bar now here 16 or 20 bar 20 bar temperature is also given 20 bar temperature is this so now i can take the value of v as 0.223 and u as 3471 so i can say from superheated tables for 20 bar or 2 mega pascals u equal to sorry v equal to first i will say 0 0.223 meter cube per kg and u equal to 3 4 7 that is u2 i will say u2 here 3471 kilo joules per kg this you can retrieve now i can find the mass in b because i know both total volume and specific volume okay so i will say vb2 here also i can say ub2 okay so now what is this mass will be capital vb2 total volume divided by the specific volume which is equal to 0 0.61125 divided by 0 0.223 so that will be the mass because in the system here system final mass can finally or initially mass will be the same so finding the mass at the final state because I can easily fix the final state now I have found the mass using the final state that will be 2.741 kg so now I know the mass from that I can find the initial so what is asked is mass in B now I have found during the this then I can find the so initial state I need to get the heat transfer correct for initial state i have to get the quality of the initial state for that i have to fix the state itself so i will do that now so for b state 1 state 1 is what 700 kilo pascals and uh, volume capital volume is that is capital V is 0 0.5 and uh, mass is 2.741 kg. So now I can find the initial specific volume as 0 0.5 divided by 2.741 initial specific volume that will be equal to Okay, I will calculate that this is what the initial volume. So from this I can find the x1. X1 is what? Here for 700 kilo pascals, Vf is 0 0.001108 meter cube per kg, Vg is 0.273. So I can say x1 will be equal to Vb1 minus 0 0.001108 divided by here vg equal 0.273 so 0 0.273 minus 0 0.001108 so that will give you the value of x1 okay now please see that partially i know what is the mass of the liquid in the B at state 1 that is given as 0 0.9 kg total mass is 2.741 so what is the mass of vapor so I will say mass of the vapor in the B initially will be equal to 2.741 minus 0 0.9 so that will be equal to um, 
841 kgs okay now what is quality straight away i can find the quality i need not find this i can also do like this but straight away quality will be equal to what m v v1 divided by mb this will be equal to this so finally i will get quality as 0 0.67165 from this i can find the state one initial specific uh, uh, internal energy ub1 as 696.4 this is uf plus x1 0 0.67165 into 2573 minus 696.4 this is ug this is uf this is x1 so that will be equal to 1956.82 kilo joules per kg so this is the value now apply the law so easy to take a plus b as the system that means w will be equal to 0 since delta v equal to 0 delta v ok now i can find if I have a first law is w 0 equal to delta u delta u is written as delta u in a plus delta u in b correct so now this is equal to for a it is m a c v t a 2 minus t a 1 plus m b into this is u u b 2 minus u b 1 ok now what is this 2.7843 into c v is 0 0.7175 into t a 2 is 973 minus 438 165 okay 165 degrees integrate plus mb mb is now calculated as 2.741 into ub2 what is ub2 in the previous slide ub2 is 3471 3471 minus here ub1 you have now calculated as 1956.82 so this will give you the value of q total q as 5 to 19.156 kilo joules so this is the problem so it's an interesting problem where the thermal equilibrium prevails at every state pressure also is same because of the piston being free to move as well as thermally conducting so with this you can solve the problem the only main thing is initial state of the water cannot be fixed because it is a saturated mixture the mass of the liquid alone is given so the final state from the final state mass is got and from the mass initial state is fixed so that is the important problem